What's a misconception about your profession that you're tired of hearing? For Pawn Shop Point One, when I reject someone's drag and they say I'm trying to screw them or something like that, like if it was actually worth something, don't you think I'd make an offer? Too thinking about this one now. I can't even say it explicitly because it will start a political shitstorm. A particular ethnicity, and these people have very negative opinions about this particular ethnicity. And they feel the need to voice their opinions about the ethnicity they think we all are to our face. Librarian here. No, we are not the ones sitting at the desk and just checking out books. Those are checkout clerks. To be a librarian in Canada or the U.S., you have to have a master's degree in the field from an ALA accredited university. We have at least six years of university and two degrees. In most places, we are the managers who work in the back running the place or doing highly specialized tasks, like managing the collection. In universities, we are tenured faculty like the professors. We don't just sit around and read, we are actually professionals. Corporate recruiter here. Every time you apply to an open position, it's important to keep this Jean-Luc Picard quote in mind. It is possible to commit no mistakes and still lose. That is not weakness. That is life. Averaging between 252,000 applicants per position, and we only keep the position posted online for two full weeks. That means I'm saying no to 99 of candidates, plenty of which are well qualified. So stop taking it personally. Especially if the company never reached out to begin with, because it's not. Call center customer service agent telecom. For the last twelve years, I've had to hold the hand of thousands of customers through the phone. It's not an easy job. Are the specs of all the new cellular devices, all the codes for our ancient door space AS for O system, and above all that. I have to deal with people who have issues breathing and speaking at the same time. It's exhausting. At the end of the day, my body is awake and ready, but my mind is mush. Oh, and I do it into languages. Estate agents are money grabbing, scamming, self-centered assholes who wear too much makeup, too much aftershave, and would sell their granny if they'd make a profit. Guys, it's not true. I'm on minimum wage. The commission is abysmal. I do the job because I like my colleagues. I like my company, and I'm good at admin. Estate agents haven't been making a decent income for about thirty years. It's not sales. It's customer service. I am a real estate investment analyst. No, I do not sell houses or apartments. Those are real estate agents. For your tempting offer. But I won't help you sell your house without commission. That is because I can't. But I can recommend you to a real estate agent who could help you with it, and at a good rate. No. They won't do it for free. But they won't rip you off because they are reputable and decent agents. I work as a therapist. Lately, I have been seeing a lot of posts suggesting we're all psychopaths in it for the money. I find it sad. I don't do this for the paltry relative income. I actually do give a shit about everyone I see. I cannot solve all your problems, but I'm zealous to help us try. Massive amounts of income. Ha! I can tell you how much I have made from personal income of clients in the past five years. Zero. Electrical engineer at a desk here. Yes, we do know how the stuff goes into the motor control centers. And the switch gear because of all those stupid boring ass meetings we do with vendors and NEC wiring code and the etc. We get highballed super hard by the installers, and it's like, dude, I'm on your team as well. It's cool. I'm the one who literally drew the diagram for what you are touching right now. Trainers at gym I work for, and I'm tired of people who think fitness trainers were bullies trying to atone for bad deeds they did in their past. As well, fitness trainers are pushy when training people. I myself was never a bully. I was more bullied because of my appearance, being strong-looking, and my accents. As well, I don't push people when I train them. I give encouraging feedback. UX designer. We don't make apps and websites pretty. Yes, a visually pleasing interface is half the point. But not all of it. There's a ton of psychology and customer empathy involved to understand how the product we're creating affects a user's person's customer's day to day, 
and interaction with a company. So, when we ask questions, we're just doing our job, not trying to annoy you. That all engineers make a ton of money. Not true. It widely depends on the field. When I graduated in the mid oost the average starting salary for a mechanical engineer was $50,000. Average for an aerospace engineer was $53,000. The average for a computer engineer was high $90,000. The average starting for a chemical engineer was $100,000. Double what I was going to be making with Aeromech. HR isn't your friend is said a lot. We're neither friend nor enemy. We're managing risk, which makes us inherently neutral. Unless you're a red flag. We like you. And trust me when I say that we have been put through more stress from having your back than you know. If we had a friend list, the people who would be further down on it than red flag employees are untrained managers. That physicians are just overpaid jerks that are useless without nurses. We get it. Nurses are the end all be all for the last hope of humanity and doctors are just scum of the earth that wouldn't exist without them. When in my reality, more nurses than not leech off the union, and the few good nurses in their unit that do all the work for them. That people in healthcare don't care about you. And true, the vast majority of us do care and are trying to help you. My specialty is elder care, and I help get people in home care, home health, hospice services, or help them find the right facility for them. It is not all about the money for most of us. Relax and let us help you. Yes. The plane can fly itself for the most part. The flying part is the easy part, and we offload some of it to automation, so we can focus on other tasks. It's like showing cruise control in a car to someone who has never driven a car or seen a road before, and them saying, oh, oh I'd be a great driver. It does everything itself. Writer. Their eyes are green because that's the colour I thought of when I built the character. It's not that deep most of the time. Also, no, I don't want to read the first draft of the book you started when you were 12. That's such a great idea. Believe me, none of us write well at 12 and now I won't read it for free. That graphic design is fun, cool, exciting, and we'll do it for peanuts just because we enjoy it. Who? But I got bills to pay and most of the time I'm trying to protect the client from making really bad decisions because they feel they could do it themselves if they could just draw a little better. Recruiter here. ATS does not automatically decline candidates. So there's no way to beat the ATS. We have to go through and look at every single resume. And that's in addition to everything else we have to do throughout the day. So if we ghost you, it's not personal. We just don't have time to respond to everyone. Land Development Urban Planning Consultant Nitrogen Monoxide. We are not out to destroy the world. We acknowledge that the world population is increasing at a rapid rate and that we must find places where people can live. We are not out to reduce your view. Sunlight, landscape area, amenities, socioeconomic advantages. I'm a long-time caregiver to mother who lives with dementia. For some reason, people don't consider it work. That includes doctors. I'm on call 24-7. I can't leave for long periods of time. My own health went to shit. Geriatric care costs are astronomical. Yet, yeah. all people hear is you're not working. That IT can fix anything, usually we can. But most of the time it won't justify the cost or my time. As for smaller things or printers, Yes, we can. We just happen to be able to Google things. I don't have a manual about everything in my head. I have Google in my pocket and on your screen, D. Not my current career any longer, but a previous one. That the US military is comprised of people from poor families that didn't have better options. Our military is comprised of people from middle-class families who have attained a higher level of education than the average American. Deshable farmer. We get so many applicants wanting to connect to the soil, yet have never touched a shovel before. So many people don't seem to understand that farming is manual labour with long hours and hardship every day. And it's all just to limp by. We aren't making much money. I'm a radio DJ, 
and most people think we're either like party DJs or newscasters. We get tons of requests every week to DJ someone's wedding or birthday party while also getting a ton of requests to come and do a story on something happening, neither of which we really do. Teacher all that time off and pay time off. Also, if any conservative piece of garbage ever calls me a groomer to my face I'll take one for the team and kick the ever-loving shit out of him. I'm close enough to retirement that I'd be okay with losing my license. No, I'm not going to do your taxes. I'm not that kind of accountant. In fact, a bachelor's degree in accounting in the US only requires that you take a course on basic federal taxation so you would only learn the more complicated tax stuff if you specialised in tax. Nurse, I'm not a martyr. I'm not an angel. I'm not caring for you or your loved one out of love or empathy or kindness. This is my job. It is not some noble calling, and I want to be respected at my work and paid appropriately the same as you want at your job. That I'm paid a fortune because I'm a doctor. Region-specific but where I am. This is not the case, nor is the idea that patients pay my wages. If I did, I'd petition them for a pay rise at the door whenever they start abusing me depending on which comes first. I'm an excess at AHN, and the doesn't do anything mentality people have is crazy. I consider this a profession without a check, and now that I'm working again all kids own school I'm so much happier. Grateful to have done it but never again.